Hey what's going on everybody, so today's video is going to be a bit different than what I normally do. Basically, I'm going to be reading you guys this mini essay that I did for my tech class. Now, you know, if you're not into essays or anything like that, you can click off now, but this one's actually going to be pretty interesting because it's going to be about Edward Snowden, if you guys know who that is. Uh, basically, he revealed a lot about how the government is using our data and how they're basically violating our data privacy rights. So that's basically what I'm going to be talking about. And pretty much my whole essay is based on whether or not I think he's a hero or a traitor. And you'll get to hear my opinion on that a little bit more into it. So um, without further ado, you know, you can click off now if you don't like essays or anything like that. But uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. So. <clears throat> Edward Snowden. Marlon Brando once said, privacy is not something that I'm merely entitled to, it is an absolute prerequisite. And with the increasing prominence of technology in our daily lives, this quote couldn't have any more significance. In 2013, Edward Snowden's revelations on how our online privacy is being compromised shook the world. He exposed several documents suggesting that with each online presence, there is a digital record tied to it, which is stored in the NSA's private database. The documents have revealed information such as how the Obama administration had been using a specific law of the Patriot Act to allow the NSA to collect private user information from Verizon. The United States government would have Verizon hand over caller information on a daily basis, including the time, location, and duration of phone calls. The government had started this collection of user information in October 2001 from AT&T, Verizon, and Bell South. The documents also revealed a secret PowerPoint presentation aimed at training U.S. intelligence personnel in a program they called PRISM. PRISM is the program the NSA uses to directly access the servers of major U.S. service providers such as YouTube, Skype, Google, and Apple, along with many others. Access to these databases also allows the NSA to collect massive amounts of user data such as email content, search histories, and file transfers, leaving users totally unaware their privacy is being breached. Unlike the cellular provider's legal collaboration, the government can access live information, photos, video chats, and data from social networks straight from the company's servers without needing consent from a court. Furthermore, the documents leaked intelligence on how the NSA is using a tool called Boundless Informant, which allows them to globally collect and track metadata, which is sets of data that collect and describe other pieces of data. In one month alone, nearly 3 billion pieces of metadata were formed from US networks and 97 billion pieces worldwide. The NSA uses a system to store all its private d data by country, type, and volume, allowing for easy analysis of important information whenever necessary. The extent of the NSA's reach goes far beyond American soil. In a document released by Snowden, he revealed that the NSA was spying on European citizens and European officials. The document defines Europe as a target location, specifically targeting Germany. Canadians are also subject to massive data collection on a daily basis. Our right to privacy can be breached by simply sending a text or an email. Snowden exposed Canada's consent to the NSA to conduct widespread surveillance of Canada and its people. The documents Snowden released indicated that with the United States transferred its Ottawa embassy into a data collection post while President Barack Obama was in Canada. According to the documents sent to CBC, the CSEC, or the Communications Security Establishment in Canada, is able to obtain private data from smartphones using the Wi-Fi service provided at Canadian airports. The CSEC is even able to track the devices for several days after they've left the airport and disconnected from the Wi-Fi. The CSEC's response to this claim was that it was said to be part of a test case for the NSA along with others in the intelligence community. The information that Snowden released does impact Canadians and is very important because the CSEC's job is to monitor foreign inter interaction and internet traffic, not to break Canadians' privacy rights. Now. This is the sort of essay portion of this um, piece. So, since 2013, the debate whether or not Edward Snowden is a hero or a traitor has raged on without any concluding verdict. The information he leaked revealed how governments worldwide are breaking privacy laws all in the name of national security. I believe that Edward Snowden is a hero because of his courage to speak out against the government's crimes and his ability to start a conversation on how we can protect ourselves from government surveillance. Firstly, 
When Edward Snowden revealed the NSA's documents on data collection, he knew that he was fighting an uphill battle and that it was likely going to lead to his own death. Despite knowing this, Snowden had the courage to reveal the NSA secrets regarding data collection. By choosing to expose the NSA, Snowden risked his life just so that he could publicize how the NSA is violating everyone's privacy rights on a daily basis. Ever since Snowden's leak of the NSA's documents, he has inspired a change, giving society more knowledge and power to protect ourselves from data privacy rights and our data privacy rights. It is because of Snowden that people are now aware of the continual surveillance that they are under and can now utilize available tools to combat the data collection systems. Applications such as VPNs, which allow users to connect privately and securely to the internet, special phone cases, which prohibit monitoring of a phone's camera, email services that provide total encryption of emails to ensure they cannot be intercepted, were all developed to address data and personal information security. Since his courageous efforts in revealing our breach of privacy, Edward Snowden has enabled the individuals and companies to be more diligent in how their personal information is being violated. In conclusion, a hero is someone who places their lives on the line for the greater good, and someone who has the ability to inspire change throughout the world. Edward Snowden perfectly embodies these heroic traits in his choice to take a stance against the government's data collection operation and his ability to make a global impact, influencing people to think of new ways to protect their data privacy. It was up to Edward Snowden to expose one of the largest government secrets. Now it's up to everyone else to make informed decisions on how we act online, what information we are giving away, and how we can take steps to protect our privacy. So. Oh my goodness, that actually took me so long. Uh, that was like the most monotone thing ever as well. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, make sure to leave a like, all that stuff. I just wanted to bring this. You know, it's a bit different. It's not really what I usually do, but I think it was kind of important. I think it's important that people know who Edward Snowden is. Um, just not even for their own sake. Just so that, you know, the government can't keep getting away with what they're doing. So... That's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.